Every year is a chance to look at the FLL challenge as new. This year, I thought a single motor robot means that this goes forward and backward. Four wheel drive, chain drive would be the way to go. But, Mr. Wittig, they said, how do you get it to turn back into home after it leaves the launch area? Well, what if you put a drag device on one side, a wheel with a gear and a friction fit fitting, so that when it goes forward, it's going to go straight. But when it goes backward, there's going to be friction on that side. It compels it to turn. All right. Well, how do you change the arc of the circle on the return trip? You change the location of the wheel on the robot. That also changes the arc. But Mr. Wittig, how do we raise the tower? Okay, how about a spring-loaded device? Something you can slide into place and let go. Very simple. You drag it up with the robot, straight out, you get to where you need to be, and then you uh, back the robot away. And when you back the robot away, it will raise the tower. Really a pretty straightforward idea. All you have to do is figure out how to put the spring in place. But Mr. Wittig, what about the bridge? How do you turn to go up the bridge? Well, here you can use the chain drive and lay it atop a gear that drives a differential. And then you put a ratchet on one side so that the thing can roll forward in one direction but is compelled to turn in the other direction. So, when you put your robot on something like this, the chain on this robot is driving the gear on that accessory so that when forward, it drives straight. But that, it makes a controlled turn and can go on up the bridge. So, this is how you can do all the missions using a single motor robot.